start crying already. Some of you may or may not know, but today is a super special day. But before I continue, I just need to put on something that's slightly more appropriate. <laughs> Now, I've probably spoken about this a lot in maybe some other videos, but I just wanted to tell like the complete thing in one hit. I wanted to do a special video for today, and I never really got around to doing anything. I, I've still got everyone's like things to put together for like a compilation video, which I'll try to get done later in the year if I have the time and the uh, facilities to do so. Well, this is kind of why I am the way I am, and why I've been into Harry Potter for 19 years. So. It's 20 years to the day since Harry Potter was published. I obviously wasn't born yet. I was born about six, seven, eight, nine months later. And my older brother had the had first two Harry Potter books, um, like obviously as and when they came out. And my mum read them to me um, when I was, you know, like born and growing up. And then because I always had this great love for reading and a, a, my earliest memory is being in a library and asking my mum and being like to my mum, oh my god it's so amazing that you can just like read, I really want to just be able to read, that's my biggest goal in life. And so as soon as when I turned four years old I was reading pretty much fluently, it was like the one thing that I was super good at and I read Goblet of Fire all by myself and that was around the same time the first film came out, it was back in 2001 and I still remember watching Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone for the first time, I was in my tweenies pyjamas which you can see underneath a picture of me in my Harry Potter robes which I've still got and glasses and it's just weird because like I was four years old and still wearing friggin robes and I my brother got it on video sort of when it came out and we went downstairs and we watched it and I still rem like remember watching it for the first time and it's one of my earliest memories and from that day onwards it became something that was just a part massive part of my life it's always been there I don't remember there's hasn't been a time for me where it hasn't been a quintessential part of who I am. A year or two years later I got my first piece of merchandise which was the Harry Potter, like the Hermione pewter figure from my mum because I was having a bad time at school and she gave it to me one morning for like good luck or whatever. There's so many photos of me as like a little baby getting my first wand at Christmas when I was maybe four or five years old and um, getting my first Quidditch robes and broomstick um, and me in front of a bookcase with my Harry Potter books on it and my Hermione snow globe um, and I was just a tiny tiny little baby and I was looking back on photos because I made like a little collage thing to um, of like Harry Potter through my life and there's just so many of me going through all the stages of growing up and at every single point Harry Potter's there. Then I was having a really bad time during primary school, like I won't go into the details here, there's a primary school video somewhere if you scroll down I might link it. When I was going through a really hard time Harry Potter and like books in general became something that I massively turned to, but Harry Potter especially. I remember being seven years old in this bedroom because I've lived here my whole life and my bed was actually where it is now and laying in bed being seven years old being like I really like being seven years old although I can't go to Hogwarts yet. But I can still imagine I'm at Hogwarts. So I was reading the book and I was picturing myself at Hogwarts as a seven year old. And I, I, don't, I think maybe that's how I've acquired so much Harry Potter knowledge because to be fair, not to toot my own horn or anything, I've never yet met someone who we could, like, who I haven't beaten at a Harry Potter quiz like competition. I think that's, it's not about how much knowledge you have because I've spoken about this in another Harry Potter video um, but it's, it's nothing about how much knowledge you have but for me it's like my special subject if I was to have something that if you were to ask me any question I would guarantee pretty much 100% know the answer um, even the really obscure stuff that I have no idea how I know I just it's somehow in my brain because it's all been there since I was so little then I've sort of just grown up and continued the love everyone thought it was just like a phase or whatever not a phase mum it's been so much more than that, it's, it's carried me throughout my life. As I went into secondary school, you know, I've always been known as the Harry Potter kid and the Harry Potter girl. And whenever anyone says Harry Potter, everyone always automatically looks at me. And I've been totally okay with that because it's not something I'm embarrassed about. It's not something I'm ashamed to have attached to my name. It's made me the kind of person that I am. Harry Potter gave me friends when I didn't have any. And it gave me somewhere safe to escape to, somewhere to keep my mind sane. And as I got a little bit older in secondary school and my mental health was really suffering, it was something that I could turn to to really help me dig myself out of dark places. It 100% goes far, as far as to say that it saved my life because it has in so many ways and there's like not words to explain what it's done for me. It's taught that like me how, like I feel like a lot of my morals come from, from that and a lot of the way my head is level in situations and the way I can see both sides of a lot of arguments. I feel like I got taught that from Harry Potter and I feel like it's given me um, something so much more than than just sort of like you know something to read it's it's actually shaped 
who I am and how I care about people and how I feel about situations. And I feel like the influence we get from books and from the media and everything as a, as a young kid is so important and I'm, I feel grateful that I had that influence me rather than other things that may have, you know, made me uh, negative about certain things or made me, uh, you know, prejudice, I guess, to other people. I've grown up so accepting of, of everyone and everything and I think a lot of that comes from Harry Potter. Not only has it given me all of that, it's also given me the most amazing group of in real life friends. I met all my internet friends at some point through Harry Potter and on the internet and they're the people that are my best friends, you know, some of my best friends in the entire world and I've had the most amazing memories. I've been lucky enough to have the most amazing experiences because of Harry Potter, going to premieres and meeting all these people and going to meetups and going to the studio tour and just so many things like and opportunities that I have. Obviously this, doing YouTube, I this channel started because I'd posted a Harry Potter haul video because I was watching them and I thought, well, I've got enough merch to do one of those. And it sprung into somewhat, you know, a 15,000 strong group of us that, and I, I read, I get your messages every day and even though I'm really bad at replying at the moment, like we're now one big sort of family and I've met, you know, I've been able to talk to and become part of, you know, groups with all of the other like Harry Potter YouTubers and it's really brought us together because something you just can't fault about Harry Potter is the community feel that, that happens within it. I went to Cursed Child the other day and I was going alone and I ended up with a group of really lovely, amazing girls that they all found each other because of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child and I found them because of Twitter and the Har and Harry Potter and I think it's insane that you can that it shapes your life so dramatically even down to the people that you're actually spending your day-to-day -day life with and the people that you call your friends and and I think that's like one of the most amazing parts for me because it it took me from a place where I didn't really have anyone that like got me in real life to having a massive group of people that I could count on and people that you know I ended up going traveling with you know Becca and Ella and like the original fucking circle of rice squad that I had that with like you know the things change and everything but I still have those amazing memories with really great people. I'm at university and everyone still knows me as the Harry Potter kid because it's 19 years later and somehow everywhere I go I'd never really have to hide it I've never been ashamed of it and I know so many people message me saying like you know what do I do people tease me for liking Harry Potter so much and I can never give satisfactory answers to that because I, I always want to tell everyone that like no one should tease you and no one will but people do and I feel like a lot of people think it's so sad for a 19 year old to be still so into a Harry Potter franchise but you know it's not the only thing about my life. I've got so many other things that happen and go on and that I'm into and interested in but this is the thing that's given me the confidence and the ability to go on and enjoy those other parts of life and to go on and explore the other parts of life, get into other things. And so I owe it for giving me the opportunity to go and expand my life. I can't believe it's been 20 years and I literally owe every single aspect of my life to a book series that was published 20 years ago today because without it my life would be completely different I, I have no idea what kind of person I'd be I have no idea what this room would look like it would probably be some boring ass like tumblr-esque room like not that that's bad but it wouldn't be me I and I don't I don't I just have no idea the kind of person I'd be or how my life would have turned out I think I would have been very very lonely for a very long time lucky you know I've got a family you know, my parents and my mum especially are, are very into Harry Potter and I've been surrounded by like really amazing people because of it and I just feel very very grateful and I felt the need, this hasn't really turned out exactly what I thought it would be, but I felt the need to just sort of share with you guys the importance of it. I wish this had been far more eloquent than it actually came out and transpired to be, however I, I feel like you get the general gist, I'm really sick right now and I'm trying not to show it um, and I'm going to the, as I said, I'm going to the event tonight and I've got a Cursed Child video that should be coming tomorrow or tomorrow afternoon but um, thank you so much for everything, um, for supporting this channel and for being here because of Potter, it means the absolute world to me and I hope you all have a really lovely day and if you're celebrating, let me know how and even if you're not celebrating, just keep it in your mind, 20 years ago today. Oh god, what would my life be if Bloomsbury turned down Philosopher's Stone as well as the other publishers? But yeah, thank you so much JK Rowling for doing this and giving me a life. I am eternally, eternally grateful for Harry Potter. Don't start crying, Laura. Anyway, if you are new around here, give me a subscribe. I'm usually crying about something. Um, like this video and... Um, turn on my notification bell so don't miss any more of this dramatic Harry Potter nonsense. In this plug I have more different t-shirt designs on Teespring and tote bags and stuff so check that out if you can and I will see you guys next time. Keep pottering lads.